Hey, what's up everybody? My name is D and welcome back with another video. I hope you guys don't mind the poor setup I have, but this is all I have. So this is what we are going to work with. So in today's videos, I want to uh, show you guys how to install the WHMCS system so that you can sell hosting to your clients as well as selling WordPress templates to your customer. Okay, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so first let's hop on my computer so I can show you what I've been building to uh, make the whole process so simple for you. Okay, so this is my uh, dashboard right here and this is the website we're going to work with. So basically, I have installed the uh, custom templates for this WHMCS system so that uh, you can better display your products and services. So as you can see, this theme right here is uh, the uh, Fox theme, which I uh, purchased uh, previously. And I have already installed for this WHMCS system. So uh, whenever you sign up for this uh, products right here, you are going to get this exact template for your WHMCS system. But if you want to uh, change this theme right here to a totally different theme, you can do that. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have uh, our store where we can uh, display uh, of our website templates. Okay, so previously I have created this uh, uh, WordPress template right here as an example. Uh, whenever you sign up for this uh, uh, website right here, so this is the uh, default products. So this is the uh, homepage right here where user can uh, sign up for the uh, hosting. They can purchase domain name from your system. Okay, so it's look very nice. Down here, you have the uh, latest post where you can uh, post on your system and then it will populate it right here. And right here, your customer can uh, click right here to get support. So this is your menu. You have the news. You have the uh, knowledge base, uh, network status. This is uh, what the uh, customer will see when they uh, want to log into your website. And this is the uh, contact page. Okay, and this is the uh, WSMCS dashboard. Okay, we can uh, click right here to view the uh, clients. So as you can see, I have already created the admin clients right here. So later on, I'll show you guys how to uh, install the WSMCS script also so that you can uh, list your WordPress template as a product on your website. And when customers sign up for that template right there, it will automatically deploy that template for your customer. Something like WP Ultimo, but with WP Ultimo, you can create subtype. But with this system right here, you can create many WP Ultimo network. So as you can see, this is the uh, client summary. We can uh, click right here to log in as the uh, client. And this is what your clients will see. So right here, they'll see all the services if they purchase from you. They'll see all the uh, domains. Right here, they'll see all the uh, tickets. And uh, this is their invoices. Okay, and right here, they can uh, register a new domain name. Okay, so uh, let's uh, take a look on my website, building.smartandgood.com. And if you click on the uh, store, you'll see reseller hosting. So this is the products we are going to uh, purchase today. So this product right here is only $25, but you are getting a free domain name, a WSMCS, free SSL certificate, cPanels, WSMCS, white label, and the support from me. Okay, so all you have to do is just uh, click right here to order now. You are going to choose a domain name. For example, okay, we can uh, check the uh, .com. Okay, so this domain is available. All we have to do is just uh, click right here to continue. Okay, we can choose the uh, DNS management. Uh, if you want to uh, protect your ID, you can uh, choose it right here. It's only uh, $10 a year. Email forwarding, okay. We can uh, click right here to continue. Okay, now all you have to do is just uh, click right here to uh, check it out. And all you have to do now is just enter your personal information name, first name, last name, email, and uh, down here you can create the password so later you can log into uh, 
the uh, client's areas and check out all of your products and services. And down here, all you have to do is just uh, check out with uh, Stripe Secure Payment Gateway and uh, click right here to complete the order. Okay, you guys, so after you purchase the WHMCS system products, this is the screen you are going to see. Okay, so basically this is uh, the uh, domain name I'm going to use as an example. We can uh, click right here to uh, view this uh, system right here. And this is the exact demo that we see earlier. You can uh, click right here to log into uh, WHM or you can uh, click right here to log into your cPanel. You can change the password. Okay, so um, let's uh, check out the email the system sends you automatically because it's going to include all of the details for your network. And just like that, we are currently in our WSMCS system. This is our Stripe balance. As you can see, uh, we haven't uh, really uh, set up the uh, Stripe uh, account yet. And this is of your activities. And in order to uh, set up the uh, uh, server, we can go to uh, system setting, scroll down to a uh, server. Let's uh, click right here. We can uh, click right here to add a new server. So we are going to uh, choose the uh, module as a uh, cPanel uh, for the host name or the IP address. We can go over here and if you uh, scroll down to your email, uh, we can copy this IP address right here. Go to uh, our system and paste this in right here. And for the uh, username, we can uh, use this uh, cPanel login. And it's going to be the same thing for the uh, password. We can uh, click right here to test the connection. Okay, you guys, and just like that, we can uh, scroll all the way down here and click save changes. Okay, so we have our system connected to the uh, server. Now we can uh, go to our uh, system setting and down here you can set up new products. You can set automation setting. You can uh, create coupons and stuff like that. Uh, for domain pricing, you can uh, click right here and change of the uh, pricing. Okay, in order to uh, install Stripe for our account, we can go to the app and integration. And let's look for uh, Stripe. I think it's uh, right here. We can uh, click right here. And we can uh, click right here to uh, manage. And this is a uh, Stripe module. We can uh, enter off our Stripe publishable API key, the secret key, and then we can uh, click right here to save the changes. And if you want to uh, create a new product, you can uh, go right here to create the product. Okay, so in order to uh, turn your WHMCS system into a WordPress website builder, you will need the uh, script. Okay, you guys, so after you enter the uh, coupon, uh, you are going to get 40% off on this uh, script right here. We can uh, click right here to continue to check out. When you hit order, you will get redirected to the uh, client's area. So basically this is the script right here. We can uh, click right here to download and make sure you read. This is the uh, directory we are going to install our script. Make sure you read this uh, information right here. If you are currently access uh, your client's area, you can go over here and you can simply click right here to uh, log into uh, cPanel. Okay, so once you are over here, all you have to do is just uh, go to your file manager. Okay, so this is our cPanels. We need to uh, go to a uh, file manager and then we need to go to public and we need to go to the uh, include, the hook, and we need to upload the script we just downloaded. Okay, we can go back over here and reload. And we need to uh, extract this script right here. All right, you guys, so now all we have to do is just head back to our client's areas and access on this uh, product right here. This is our license key, and this is the instruction. Let's uh, copy this link right here and uh, paste this in our browser. And make sure you replace this part right here with your WHMCS domain name. So earlier we create a system called reseller-hosting.smartgood.com. Okay, and then include this part right here. Enter. 
Okay, so now all you have to do is just uh, go back over here and copy your license key and uh, paste this in right here. Click add. And just like that, we add the license key to our script. And if you go back to the script right here and you scroll all the way down here, you will have the uh, product sections right here where you can enter the uh, product ID right here, number two. And if you already have the WordPress installations and you want to uh, set it available for your customers to sign up, all you have to do is just enter your WordPress installations right here, enter the uh, cPanel's username and password. So in my uh, last few videos, I show you guys how to set up the products, the WordPress templates and uh, set it for your WSMCS system. It's going to be the same thing. So uh, this video is just a quick video to uh, show you guys how to install the WSMCS system. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, contact me. I'll be more than happy to uh, help you out with any issues you might have. So for the last two weeks, I've been working nonstop to improve the script. So before it used to take about six minutes to fully deploy the WordPress installations for the uh, customers. But now it's only take about one to three minutes. I mean, the performance of the script is also depend on the size of your WordPress template as well as the performance of your server. So it's going to uh, take a little bit to fully deploy the WordPress templates for your customers. But now it's much faster and it's much more stable. All right, you guys, I think that's it for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Please hit the like button and subscribe to follow more. Thank you so much and I'll see you. Peace.